topic that we're going to talk about for a few minutes is, is basically electricity. And this is a real brief introduction to electricity um, and kind of how it works. We're going to look at it in terms of um, an electrical circuit. And, and I'm going to introduce this circuit in my terms to try to show you um, what the relationship is with, with the charge and with the electron and with volt and current, um, load or resistance, however you want to view it. And, and I kind of want to capture these terms because if you don't understand these relationships between how this works, then you're really going to struggle a lot when you're um, getting into the more complex circuit problems. I am not going to get into Ohm's law today. Um, that's for another. That's for another day. Um, before you can get to Ohm's law, you have to understand things like voltage and current and resistance and how these things relate. Even though Ohm's law is a fair, fairly simple um, expression, I like to talk about circuits in terms of this picture right here. Um, what's commonly called a, a bucket brigade, where you have a line of people, and basically you have a fire here. This is bad. And we have water here. And basically what this line of people is to help move the buckets from the water and dump it onto the fire. Um, back in the day, this is what they used to do. Um, and, and, and I'd like to use this analogy um, in terms of talking and introducing electricity. So, let's say we have a house on fire. And that's obviously bad. And let's say we have a little ways, but not too far away from the house, is a pond. or a well, or some type of water source. And we need to get the water from the pond onto the fire. Well, the only way that we're going to be able to do that is through our trusty local fire brigade. So, we've got a guy standing here with a, with a bucket. He's going to fill it up with water, and they pass it along the line to get to the house. So let me put in the other people. And so those are my other people, a little bit distorted, Picasso, Picasso look, and that's all fine and dandy. So this first person fills up this bucket with water, and let's, and, and, and let's say he puts a gallon of, of water in, in that bucket, and, and then this person, and they pass it on. This bucket then gets passed on to this guy, who passes on this guy, pass on, pass on, pass on, pass on, pass on, where this person right here takes the bucket and throws all of the water, all one gallon of the water, onto the fire. The bucket then gets moved back to the pond, to the water source, and the whole process repeats. Hopefully they have many buckets they can use instead of just one to be a little bit more effective, but that's the picture. So, um, so this, is, this is our fundamental circuit. Now, in order for a circuit to work, in order for electricity to flow, you need to have a couple of things. You need to have a battery, you need to have a wire, or wires, and you need to have like this battery connected to something, maybe a light bulb, and, that's, and let's just use that as a very simple a, um, analogy, and let's stick with that as my very simple analogy. In this, in this analogy here, this is my battery. The water source is my battery. The bucket, and, and this is, and this is where I'm going to, you know, maybe cause a little bit of confusion, but but stick with me. The bucket picks up water. And the bucket is passes on from person to person to the fire source, in which case then the water is put 
onto the fire source. And, and with electricity, in this analogy, and this is where I'm going to differentiate um, or deviate from what some um, instructors or textbooks kind of refer to, because um, they make it sound a little bit easier than what it is. But in this analogy, the people here are the electrons. A lot of times we talk about electricity is electrons um, moving, the flow of electrons. And that's not correct. The electrons really don't, don't move at all. What the electrons do is the electrons are used to pass on the charge. Here, the people are used, if people are the electrons, and the electrons are used to pass on the charge, then in my analogy, the bucket represents the charge. And so the people pass on the bucket. The electrons pass on the charge from the battery to wherever. The bucket carries water. And in this analogy, water represents energy. The charge doesn't do the work. Energy does the work in the electrical circuit. The charge simply carries the energy. It carries the energy from the battery, from the water source, from the energy source to where it's needed. And to where it's needed, where we have the fire, we call this our load or all our resistance. This is a very simplified circuit where we only have one thing, maybe one resistor, and it's the load or the resistance is using, this is what uses or this is what needs the energy. The fire needs the water to be put out. So we take a pond or some water source, we scoop some water out in our bucket, we pass the bucket along our line of people, and the water gets thrown on the fire. With the electricity, we have our energy source, a battery. A charge leaves that battery with some energy. That charge gets passed on from electrons to electrons until it gets put into the load where that energy is used. That's how an electrical circuit works. This is the relationship between the electrons and the charge and the energy. How fast you move the buckets is your current. So current, which is given the symbol I, current in this analogy is the, the speed the buckets are moved. Resistance is pretty simple. Resistance is how much energy um, is how quickly the energy uses. This is my resistor. And now the other term is the voltage. And the voltage can get kind of confusing. And, and I'm going to um, exp I'm going to look at it in pretty simple terms, so bear with me. With the voltage, I'm focusing on this aspect of the process where we're dumping the water onto our fire. And I'm looking at this aspect of the process where we're filling up the bucket with water. And what's similar in both of these processes is that the water level in the bucket is changing. We're either filling up, um, we're either filling up the bucket with water or we're dumping the water out of the bucket. Regardless, the water level in the bucket is changing. Now remember, water is energy. So what this is really saying is that the energy level, the energy of the charge is changing. This is voltage. Voltage occurs, and, and we refer to voltage when we experience a change in energy level that the charge has. If the charge is is increasing, that might be a voltage increase. If the water level, if the energy level is decreasing, then this is often called a voltage drop. Now, it it gets a little bit more technical than this. 
um, it, it gets a little bit more involved in this. I'm not going to get into all those details simply because at this level, um, you, you really don't you really don't need that. What you just need to understand is that charge carries energy. The charge is passed on from electron to electron, from the energy source to the load. Now, why it goes that way, that's, that's where it gets technical into the electric fields and all that type of stuff. Let's not, get, let's not, let's, let's not worry about that. And I know some people say you, you have to worry about it. Well, tough. I'm not going to. Um, and, and, this is the, and this is our picture of a fundamental circuit. Later on, we'll take a look at the difference between what we call parallel and series circuit and how they work and, um, with regards to our bucket brigade and how we can draw some analogies and um, differences between the two. So that's all I have for you this morning. Um, hope you got some value out of it. Um, good luck.